this is an experimental evening and I'm going to make mistakes. <laughs> Very brief because I hate talking. I just like to do a performance. But I read Ashka Krishna Harkai's small book, Paratman Bent, Animal Inside. Strangely enough, in Hungarian first, I saw it in Hungarian first, in the library of the School of Salonic Studies about eight years ago, nine years ago. And I wrote this piece. And I thought it would not be translated for a long time. And a month later, I had a translation of it in my hand. So it's a strange piece that I've got to read with many mispronunciations. A lot of them bent, animal inside a rhapsody. I am holding in my hand a book. A book in my hand. Hand I am holding. It is tall but slim. The weight of its words is greater than its text. It is a book of 31 pages hardcover, a short prose work in 14 sections by Krishna Horkai Lashlo, published by Mangbeto in Budapest in 2010 and co authored by the German artist Max Neumann provides 14 colour screen pins, prints, one each for every section of Krishna Hawkeye's prose. Its title is Alat Van Bent. Its title is Animal Inside. There are clusters and dense shards of repetition of both word, root and sound throughout the text. It is a text I do not yet know the means of. Krasna Horkai's previous book, as Utalsha Farkash, was also short, and the one before that. But before these three books, he had written Haboro Ash Haboro, 1999, War and War. Elena Melancholia Aya, The Melancholy of Resistance, 1989, and Shatan Tango, Satan Tango, 1985, all inwardly latticed and all much, much longer. I am holding in my hand a book. I do not yet know the meanings of it, but I sense a dense web of relations, a lattice scrolling, a quantum persistence, I do not have the feeling that I am going to be disappointed. Much might be said of the screen prints of Max Neumann. Each one includes the figure of a dog, sometimes more than one. And other than in the very first drawing, where all four paws of the dog are shown, each dog lacks its four paws. These dogs seem to me to resemble the drawing of a deer by Joseph Boyce. The back cover of the Hungarian edition has a long quotation in Hungarian by Colm Tobin. If I track down his original English, I will see what he's saying. I met Krasna Horkai twice, once in Finland where we shared a platform and once in London at the Hungarian Cultural Centre in 2009 or so, when he came to talk about his work and specifically his novel, Satan Tango. In my hand, I'm holding a book. Its size belies its weight. I like it, this holding. So an artist in a cave 30,000 years ago may have held his or her stick or finger before putting colour and shape onto the wall of the cave. Krasna Hawkeye also places his words on the surface with lucid deliberation. Sometime, slowly, I will come to understand what he said and in just such a slow way I will come 
to his meanings. As of now, I understand. Karsten Hawkeyen peers out from his photograph in a white halo of hair. Karsten Hawkeyen peers inside his photograph from a white halo of hair. Nemurtek L, he writes, you can't touch me, and yet I can, and I am holding his words. Is that the dog speaking, or the spirit of the man in the dog? I am holding his words in the teeth of my mind. To Najvajok, to Lerush, that saying, I am too big, too strong, every space is too tight for me. I jump into your throat, which is where the words are. And then Kyakatun, he wants to break free, becomes Nvagyak Ash, I am the one who shall break out. This is language that is forming from a clot in my throat, from a clot in our throats. This is language tearing at the throat of the world. What is happening to listening? Shut tight your gates, plug up the cracks, put up the beams, bring out the barbed wire, protect yourself from all sides, know that you lock up in vain, you plug up in vain, you raise beams in vain, you wrap wire in vain for that chink, that groove, that crevice, which should be an obstacle for us, does not exist. That minute in which we shall go mad is here. We are howling into the infinite. Kikshi Gashtam, my little master. Kikshi Gashtam, my little master, I'm only kidding. This is where language enters us. This is where translation has us by our throats. This is where language betrays us, exactly where it enhances us. This is why we speak. And I have the translation now, the translation I never thought would have been published so soon, almost as soon as the text of the original, animal inside. In my hand I'm holding a book. It is not the same book, yet it is the same book. In one hand I hold a book, and in my other hand a second book. They are the same book and they are not the same book. I cannot grasp this, yet I can. But isn't the translation as original as the original? Who says not? Who says so? So also, I reckon, might. Krishna Hawkeye. I am holding an animal inside. The dog of poetry that has come to howl in my throat. It is translating me. Who was it pulled writing and drawing apart? Who split them away from the other? Who forgot the paintings in the old caves? Who taught children to no longer place words and forms together? Who said that translation is a traduction, a treason, a traitorous act? It is. Who said that words did not crystallize out from the subtle maelstrom of sight and sound? Who said that words scattered on a necklace of meaning are not a vital art? These things I am trying to write, they will never be finished. Bless you, Krishna Hawkeye Lashman. Mm -hmm.